Hey, it's me again. Today I want to talk to you about interfaces, specifically on how to implement them. This is not a video on why or when you should interfaces. That's a topic for another video, but this is just on how to implement interfaces. There is a significant difference between casting and interfaces. And again, this is going to be discussed in a video that I will upload shortly. So this is just the standard third person game mode from Unreal Engine 5. I already set the scene up a little bit. I put in a sphere collider, just play sphere. Come on, sphere collider, trigger sphere in, in here. And then I just scaled up this collider and gave it a bit of a logic, but we'll come to that shortly. I just want to show you that there is not really a lot of magic that I did beforehand. We're going to go through it bit by bit. Interfaces are most commonly used to just communicate between blueprints. So this sphere collider, for instance, should communicate with this block, this block, and a light back there. How would we do it? Well, first of all, let's create an interface. Right click, blueprints, interface. I named mine interactable. Per default, there's just one function in here, and I call it interact function. This is the most basic form of an interface. And the one sentence that helped me understand interfaces completely was, you can view interfaces as event dispatches. So there's a lot of talk going around on using this for classes or anything else, but just simply putting it as event dispatches makes a lot of sense. For instance, I gave this sphere, our trigger sphere blueprint, a bit of code. First of all, we gotta tell it to use the interface. Class settings, implement, interfa implement interfaces, click on the plus and then add your interactable interface. In the event graph, I already gave us an event on overlapping actors. I said as soon as our player interacts, branch if true, get all, interf get all actors with interface, get all actors with interface, select our interface, interactable, there you go. And what do we do with each actor of this interface? Well, right now, probably nothing because you have to compile first, then you see your interface here on the left side and this interact function. And now what you can do is, I called mine interact function, interact function, and there's message in parentheses next to there. We call it, and now every actor with the interface interactable gets this message, gets this event dispatch, gets this call, it's just broadcasting out. That's what I mean with an interface is actually just an event dispatcher. An interface is already a great way to sort out actors. Same as get all actors of class or get all actors with the tag. So you can just really be specific. You can really just be very specific on which actor you really want to call out. Right now, we do not have any actors with the interface interactable. In our default level, there is this cube. I already made an actor blueprint out of it and just clicking open blueprint, edit, open blueprint editor. And again, we do, we do the same thing as with our trigger class settings, interfaces, click on plus and select your interface. Mine is called interactable. You compile, that's, that's very important, you compile. Then you have interfaces on here and now right click interact function. And now you can see under add event, event interact function, function I already implemented it. You have this node with a little blueprint sign next to it. And this is the one who gets the event dispatch. This is the one who listens to those messages that is are sent here. So to recap, we overlap this actor. It gives us all the actors with this interface, which the cube is now one of those actors. And it sends a message to every single one of these actors with this interface. It goes through our in interface and says, all right, we got this function and it lands here because this is an actor with this interface and now we listen to this event dispatch. What we're simply gonna do is when we get this event dispatch, this is called when this is triggered. So we get this, so we get this call we set the material to something else, uh, the Elias material to pink. And then we also print the string with Yas and a pink color for two seconds. So if we walk into this trigger right now, the cube should turn 
pink and say yes on the top left screen. Yes, and it is pink. This is basically everything you need to know. Right now I'm giving you another example, point light. All right, let's put the point light in here. Let's give it a collision sphere if we want to select, make it an active blueprint, add collision sphere. If we, if we needed to, actually we don't need to, but just for good measure, let's go it up to 10, compile, class settings, add interactable. There you go. And now we are in, now we are inheriting interactable event graph. As soon as interact function is called interact function, interact event interact function is called. Well, what do we want to do? We want to set the light color here and we want to set light, so let, set the light intensity to something ridiculously high, like 1500 and it should burn in bright red why not bright red perfect so again what's going to happen if we enter this trigger we now get all actors with interface which our light now should be and every single actor with this interface is getting this message is getting this call which means this one is getting the call and turning pink this one is getting the call and should turn red and immensely bright all right, we got blue and white and we walk into the trigger and it is red and pink and yas. But now it should be clear what an interface is. It's more or less a way to communicate between different blueprints and it really is a handy way to differentiate between certain objects or see it as some sort of filter. On my third person character, I implemented some basic filter function. So if I overlap anything, and with this anything, I mean a static mesh actor here, <laughs> with, my, with, with my sphere that I put around my actor, every actor that I'm overlapping, it checks for interface, does implement interface, yes, no, if true, shoot the message to this exact person. If it's not true, then say just get lost. And right here, we're just displaying the name, some sort of debugging, why not? So, I am going to delete this sphere because then we're gonna trigger it. Or we, we're not gonna trigger it. When I'm deleted, we're not gonna trigger it. So if I walk up to this sphere, this one has the interface. It should do everything that it does when we enter this sphere. This one does not implement the interface. This is just a cube that I made to an actor by clicking open blueprint editor. Does not implement any interface. As you can see, there is no interface. So when we get near this cube, it should theoretically tell us to get lost. And the same goes with the light. When we go near the light into this collision up here, actually it's not a static mesh actor. I don't think it will do anything. Let's see. So we're going up here and it does everything. It says yes, and it's true and it showed up everything that we needed to do. This one should tell us to get lost. It says get lost if you can read it up here. Perfect. What happens if we go to the light? I don't think anything happens. Get lost because it is not a static mesh actor. I mentioned at the beginning of the video that this is not a why or when you should use interfaces. It's a different video that I'm working on right now. This is just on how to implement interfaces. With this said, I really hope that I could nudge you into the right direction and maybe help you in your Unreal development journey. With that said, thanks for watching and I hope I could help. 